Hey guys, Bill Hepson from Workout America TV, and we're coming to you from the beautiful brand new Goals Gym in Stewart, Florida. This is where I train all my private guys on the, on the Treasure Coast, and today we're going to talk about three-dimensional ab training. And what I mean by that is that the majority of, of ab work that I see in, in the gym is all one plane. Crunch, 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 or maybe a knee up, but we're doing exactly the same thing flexing the torso forward, all sagittal plane. Meanwhile, we ignore frontal plane and transverse plane. And, and rotation is probably one of the most important things that, that we do in our training. It activates the transverse abdominus, which is one of the prime stabilizers for the torso and the lower back. Before we ever move our hand to pick up a cup of coffee or throw a ball or pick up our leg to step or climb stairs, is it basically the transverse abdominus is the first muscle in the body that contracts before we initiate movement. Mixed martial artists or the Japanese and a lot of these uh, martial arts systems, dancers, gymnasts would describe that, the martial artists describe it as the Hera, the, uh, you know, your gymnasts and dancers talk about finding their center. What they're talking about intuitively is the transverse abdominus. It is involved with rotation. When it contracts, it pulls the navel in. So contrary to popular uh, physique, bodybuilding, women's fitness lore, rotation does not make your waist bigger. When you, when you rotate and activate the transverse abdominus, that pulls the abdomen in. It also has a connective relationship to the lumbar aponeurosis, which is a big flat tendon. So between those two muscles, they form like a belt like a lifting belt around the torso of the body. So we're gonna design a circuit for you today that is very multi-dimensional and, and trains every plane of movement. Joining us today is Karina Poloni. And we're gonna start off, we're gonna start from the bigger, more whole body, high speed, high skill exercises, and then progress down into more stabilized positions. So we're gonna start with a ribbon lunge. She steps side, the ball circles. So now we've got a lot of lateral flexion, and this is what I would call a global core exercise. Think about frontal plane movement like in a golf swing or a tennis stroke. Way more dynamic than anything you can do in a machine or a simple little side bends with a dumbbell. One more, and great. So after the ribbon lunges, our next exercise it's what I would call a tubing row and dive. So we step back, we pull left, we pull right, and then reach overhead, and it's explosive torso flexion. So think about that flexion in the middle like a tennis service or an overhead volleyball strike. <clears throat> so now when she rotates back, we've got tremendous transverse rotation, and not only is this working every muscle in the core, but you've got hips and butt, spinal erectors, upper body. So when you look at a, a core and abdominal exercise that burns calories and is dynamic, this is very hard to beat. So from the tubing row and dive, we're gonna progress right down into a T-stay push-up. So when you look at this, many of you are familiar with doing planks in class or side planks. When we're balanced on two points, that is the mother of all planks. Plus you've got tremendous rotation with it. And again, it's a very dynamic whole body exercise. Give me 10 more. <laughs> Last one coming up. Take a moment, that's great. So again, we're starting with the bigger dynamic whole body exercises and progressing down into more stabilized postures. So we're gonna finish the sequence with what I would call an ABCV up. So we've got rotation and very dynamic torso flexion. So here we go up. We're gonna go right leg, left leg, and both feet. Now that's a balance up on the hips. That's a monstrous strength exercise for the abs. So when you run this sequence without rest, it is by the time we hit the floor, Although this is more of a stabilized posture, you are crunching to make this happen. So four of these, four of these triplets would be 12 movements. Give me one more under load. Here we go. 
Good, last one. And come on up. So that is a four station, multi-dimensional or three-dimensional abdominal circuit. We're gonna thank Karina Poloni, and this is Bill Hepson <laughs> from Workout America here at Gold's Gym and Stewart. Come see us. <laughs>